Tonight we're getting a closer look at how a Macon County school resource officer stopped a car. You'll remember this on Friday, a speeding car almost hit hundreds of elementary school students and teachers. WSMV's Sharon Danqua has the breakdown. Now Sheriff Wilburn tells me hundreds of elementary school students lined up right here for a homecoming parade were just seconds away from tragedy had that car turned on this corner. Uh, I was sick to my stomach. Sheriff Joey Wilburn says when he heard a high speed chase with the reckless driver was heading straight towards a homecoming parade filled with students, his heart dropped. And he started going towards where uh, the children were lined up on the side of the road. In this video, you see teachers and students rushing out of the way as cars race through the parade route. Within seconds, Sheriff Wilburn says a deputy radioed school resource officer Aaron Shipley to warn him to protect students. A sharp uh, curve, and if he was speeding at any access, he couldn't have made that curve without going into the ditch, which was lined up with children. That's when Deputy Shifley purposely crashed his parole car into the speeding car, stopping it in its tracks and saving hundreds of students. Deputy Shifley being able to actually intercept it right at the curve, right before the curve, and uh, bring the car to a stop, uh, you know, is, is the greatest outcome we could have had. The driver, 53-year-old James Corum, is now in the hospital and facing a long list of charges, including driving under the influence and aggravated vehicle assault. Had the call come on his shoulders and he made the decision, but I have full confidence that anybody wearing the badge would have made the same call.